I'm Heidi Johansson and welcome to Galas and Giving Shaw TV Spotlight on local charity events. We're in St. Albert at the Enjoy Centre, but it's not for gardening tips. Well, not just yet anyway. The Enjoy Centre is host to the 23rd Annual Friendraiser Gala, an event to support the expanding Sturgeon Community Hospital. Now before we join the party, let's take a look at what tonight's event is all about. The Sturgeon Community Hospital is not exempt when it comes to crowded wards and long waits, so they are looking to their foundation and surrounding communities to support their efforts in providing the best care possible to patients young and old. This is Unit 19. Um, it's a former pediatric unit at the Sturgeon Hospital, and we are expanding and redeveloping it into an acute um, adult medicine unit. Um, our needs on site are for the medical patients. Um, we never have enough beds for medicine on site. Um, our merge is always um, full with medical patients, which we're not able to admit um, to our medical units. So that's the reason for our expansion here. And we are hoping to gain another 14 medical beds with the redevelopment of this pediatric unit. And keeping patients in their own community is a priority. We want to keep the, the patients from the community in the community. Right. We also service a large part of Edmonton also. Uh, a huge portion of our patients comes from the Edmonton area. The Sturgeon Community Hospital Foundation is having its annual fundraiser gala to raise funds for specialized equipment, a critical component of these new units. This is a geriatric chair or a recliner chair for our um, geriatric patients that we use on the unit frequently. Um, we often never have enough of them. Um, this is a chair that we use to place our elderly patients in or any patients that might be confused or have dementia um, to help have them in a central location where we can monitor and provide care to them very safely. Seeing close to 3,000 babies delivered each year, the Sturgeon Community Hospital is also in need of a level two neonatal ICU, another goal of the Friendraiser Gala. So if a baby's requiring us to be able to observe the baby um, sort of at all times, then we, don't, we aren't able to bundle them up in a blanket. So this is a type of bed that offers radiant heat onto the baby. The baby can be left exposed um, and we can monitor the baby's breathing, their color. Um, this baby's got some leads on, so then we would have them on a cardiac monitor where we could monitor their heart rate and their breathing at all times. The importance of this unit goes beyond mom and baby's physical well-being. It would keep babies and moms together. Right now, if there's any baby that requires any extra care, would have to be transferred to one of the other sites in the Edmonton area, and mom wouldn't necessarily be able to be transferred at the same time. Well, the champagne reception is well underway, and we are joined by Mayor Nolan Krauss of St. Albert. Thank you for being here with us this evening. Well, it's a pleasure to be here, and thank <laughs> you for doing this. You know, what is it about this event, this specific event, that makes it so important to the city of St. Albert? Well, St. Albert does so many good things when it comes to building our community, and uh, I mean, raising money for the hospital is is just one of those is just one of those many many things that happen. But this one always takes it right to a brand new level, and uh, we're always so proud of the volunteers and the and the and fact is, many communities, as we know, don't have a hospital, so we should take pride in the fact that we have one, and then uh, to try to build it and make it even better for the families and for everyone here. So we're proud to be here. Right, and a lot of communities, others in St. Albert, really depend on the Sturgeon Community Hospital to fulfill their medical needs, correct? Well, not just the medical needs, but you know, the Sturgeon Hospital is one of the largest employers uh, in, in the city, so it's really a combination of, a, if it's, a, it's obviously a, a medical institution first, but it's a place for employment, mm -hmm. so uh, I, I mean, there, there's so many good things about having a hospital in your community, and, it, uh, and tonight is about building our community further and, and also through the uh, through the foundation we can make it a better hospital for anybody in the region obviously right and we have a sold out house tonight which shows a lot of support from the community um, what kind of people are coming here tonight what, what kind of demographics are we looking at I think you're finding uh, uh, probably any anybody uh, coming tonight you're finding business people you're finding philanthropists we're finding uh, uh, grandmas with their with their uh, sons and daughters, uh, mums. I, I mean, it's just anybody comes in, and because everybody's touched by uh, the medical uh, community in some fashion, uh, we've got a lot of professionals here, nurses, doctors. Uh, so I think you're you're finding just a kind of a diagonal slice through the community and uh, and right in one room. Even a couple of guys with kilts. 
Uh, I won't go there, but I, I, that's fine. You guys can talk about that. One kilt wearer in particular is Dr. Alan McDonald, a general practitioner who works mostly with seniors. St. Albert's a great community. Uh, we, we come together um, and we support each other and, and done great things. Uh, so for them to come uh, to help out the Sturgeon Hospital to, to improve the quality of care for our residents, not just our residents, um, Sturgeon County, even Edmonton. We have patients from Edmonton all the time and it's just doing a job that needs to be done. From seniors to babies, Regional Director of Newborn Care, Dr. Ernest Philippos. St. Albert is one of the, um, I would call it a stars in the uh, community and the growth of St. Albert has been phenomenal over the last year and I see that the community is well bonded together over the years and I think this, is, this is, uh, will be a tremendous achievement uh, to establish the first uh, ICN in St. Albert. With close to 500 people in attendance, an event of this size needs many helping hands. I'm the chair of the foundation but it's the gala committee that really comes up with the ideas and the office staff execute the ideas. So it's a ton of work by a lot of people who aren't standing here in front of the cameras. This fundraiser gala is also about showing appreciation. It is an incredible opportunity to thank our friends, the people who donate and support our hospital. We can't do anything at that hospital without their help. So it's a huge opportunity for us to say thank you. And what better way to say thank you than to have an evening hosted by Danny Hooper. Live auction items, a wine tree raffle, and themed silent auction items were bid on throughout the night, including a painting that was created right before our eyes. It went for $4,500. This room filled with friends raised close to $200,000 for the Sturgeon Community Hospital. For more information on how you can support this cause, go to sturgeonhospitalfoundation.org. If you would like Shaw TV to cover your event, email us at galasandgiving at shaw.ca. Thank you for watching this episode of Galas and Giving. From the Enjoy Center, I'm Heidi Johansson.